Today's question comes from Ethan in Texas. He says, Dave, I'm starting to look at buying a vehicle to replace my current ride, which seems to have an impending death sentence. <laughs> I only have about $2,000 saved up towards a vehicle at the moment. If I would be putting aside money each month that is roughly equal to a car payment, why not just buy the car with a loan? What's the benefit of this? I currently have no debt, and it just seems too convenient not to buy the car and have it right now. Well, that's, you know, that, that's what most people do, and most people are broke. If you stay out of car payments the rest of your life, it is one of the key elements, one of the key data points that indicates towards building wealth. The average car payment in America today is $507 a month over 84 months. Were you to invest $507 from age 30 to age 70 instead of screwing around with car payments? You would have, from age 30 to age 70, you'd have about $5.6 million. I hope you like the car. All the millionaires that we interview, 90-some-odd percent of them have not had a car payment in decades. Decades! They said we're never borrowing money again. So, if you want to be normal and mediocre and broke, keep a car payment your whole life. It pretty well mathematically ensures you're going to be normal and mediocre and broke. It takes your money. That's what it is. And so you're, you're thinking short term, save up and pay cash for the car. That way you'll own it. You're not paying any interest and you're not stuck. You don't get, for, you don't get repossessed if you lose your job in the middle. Something happens, you're not pinched. You own the car or you don't buy the car. Now, Ethan, you can do whatever you want to do. But debt always seems easy until you have it and then you start figuring out it's hard oh it's not a big deal i mean if i could save 200 dollars a month why can't i pay a 200 dollar payment just get the car now that's what mm -hmm. that's it but that, that's a very short-term thinking mentality and the, the shorter term you think on things the shorter your vision window is the less likely you are to build wealth and so and this show is about you know having financial peace Two words that don't go together. Like airline service. Think about it. These are words that don't go together. And you can make a decision on how you're going to live and get where you want to get. 